Hey guys, Dustin here. Welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast review. It's been a month since I did my last review. I did take took a little hiatus. You know, took a little break from doing reviews and had to focus on a work. So, so we are back with a new NASCAR Diecast review. And... This is one of our uh, newer drivers that we are reviewing. Now, this is actually uh, an older car. This is like uh, back in. I had to peel off the piece of electric tape. This is way back in 2002. You may have seen the title. Today, we are reviewing our first ever MB2 Motorsports Zone. Kenny Schrader, number 36, M&M's Pontiac Grand Prix. Not only when we are reviewing this car for the first time, it's also one of our first ever Ken Schrader autographed cars. Now, how did I get this car? Well, I actually obtained it uh, last, this past weekend. Because it was my birthday, I turned the big uh, 27. I'm getting up there in the 30s, it's starting to scare me. <laughs> so, sorry I didn't do a, a video last week or, or you know, ex any explanation why I took off. Because I like to, you know, just uh, unwind and relax. So, let's get to Let's get right to it. Now, however, this car is a, a Team Caliber, which is a much better than a Lino. Much better than Lino racing now these days. No disrespect. Even though I've done a lot of numerous reviews of their cars. So this is the box that it comes in. It's a little bit different than usually the sleeves and the, uh, the clamshell styrofoam. But inside... You get this really nice diagram of the car, what it looks like. This is very similar to the Kurt Busch one that we've done nearly a year ago. So you can actually get familiar yourself with this uh, huge diagram on here. Also inside you have the uh, where the car goes in. You also got this a nice owner series coin right here. It's limited to 24, 2400. And here's a certificate of authenticity. It's a replica of the 2002 M&M's Pontiac driven by Ken Schrader. It's limited to 2,400 subsequently numbered owner series pieces. And that Randy Duncan was CEO owner of Team Caliber around that time. It also comes with an optional side window on here as well. There's actually two different ones, but I already got one of them on. I'll show you how to... Uh, Remove the side window off, so we'll just put this box down real quick. So let's get right to it. Actually, move this back a little bit further. There we go. So that way we got more camera room. So I'm gonna go off with what the. Actually, I'm gonna go off with what the box is. Box is for the diagram. So let's get right to it. Here's the car itself. This is the number 36 M&Ms. We are not reviewing a Kyle Busch car. So I just want to let everybody know that. When you think of M&M's, many people think of Kyle Busch. Unfortunately, either Ernie Urban or Ken Schrader were the original Candyman. Or Candyman, one or the other. <laughs> so here's the front of the Pontiac Grand Prix. Nice yellow with the, uh, the M&M's, a variety of uh, M&M's milk chocolate colors. Here's the hood of the car. Now you can actually do see that it is autographed. Now, black on brown, that's usually kind of a, uh, a pet peeve for me. Usually I like my autographs on the windshields, but usually on the hoods, it's not that bad. Unless if you have like a different color car, where the autograph actually shows up better. Well, usually with two dark colors, you can actually do tell that it is Ken Schrader's autograph. Mm -hmm. 
This, by the way, he rides it. <laughs> Keep going. Here's a windshield right here. You got those two braces. You also got that Earnhardt bar in the middle. Now, what I actually did not notice about the uh, the Pontiac Grand Prix is that they have a different a different valve co cover. And we will look at that when we open up the hood. So here's the roof of the car, number 36. And also you got the uh, the trunk back here, which is the which houses the uh, Snickers sponsor. So here's the side of one of the sides of the car. Of the car, excuse me. Got some a uh, lot of contingency sponsors on here, like a. Levite, Mog, Mac Tools, Plax Coat Spray Paint, Simpsons Belson, Unicall 76 Racing Fuel. Back then, that was the official fuel for NASCAR. Whoopsie. We also got Goodyear Tires, which is still the, uh, officially, the uh, still the tires of NASCAR. Here we got NASCAR Race Car. We got the NASCAR Winston Cup, the Bud Pole Award. Gatorade, Goody's Headache Powder, Spicer. And uh, speaking of a uh, Goody's Headache Powder, who really needs the good Goody's Headache Powder from Bristol this past weekend? Either Chase Elliott or Kevin Harvick. To me, I think Kevin Harvick needed that Goody's Headache Powder. <laughs> oh, man. Bowman, Jessel. We got Ray Bestos, official break of NASCAR. True Value. 3M. Holly Carbs, since we keep going back through here, we actually got Red Eminem posing as a relief driver with the helmet and the hat that says relief driver. We got Pontiac, Cabos, and Pedigree. Down here we got Snickers, Skittles, and Valvoline. Don't forget that Eminem's is under the Mars Bars company, so that means that Snickers and Skittles are still under that company. We have the mighty auto parts on the C pillar and we also got pedigree. We also got the fuel filler intake as well. Now the one thing I did not notice is that this car does not have any taillight decals. And now uh, we got yellow who is the uh, spa yellow peanut M&M &M. freaking out that he's a spotter. <laughs> Like he's going for a wild ride back there. You may want to hang on something. Now the other side is the same, except we have a uh, Mrs. Green Eminem right here saying "Going my way." That's a good question. Oh, and also the B pillar on this one, same, is the same as well. But except there's a sponsor on there saying "Kudos." I've actually never heard of that sponsor before. Now, when I say this thing has a uh, removable side windows, I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna take this off real quick. This is actually what a uh, Lionel misses out on big time. They need to have an option to either remove side windows off of the diecast cars. Makes it really amazing. And we can just uh, peer on in here. Now we have the uh, the interior radios are in here. The uh, there's also a metal shifter as well. You can see right inside. Now I know it's barely you can barely make it uh, out in there, but you can actually see the petty bar. Uh, it's about as good as I can get. You got the window net, seat belts, the interior radios. That's about as good as I can get. There's the Aaron. There's, I think that's those, those hoses. I don't think it says on here. I wish it do, does.
I'm not going to mess around, around with this anymore now. Now, however, the underside is amazingly detailed, as you can tell from here. From the front, we have, have a radiator. Now, if you actually notice, oops, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that there. That is the, uh, the new engine and wiring plumbing, those orange hoses. And you got a radiator up front. That's the, for the oil pan. Which I really thought was awesome. Then you got the transmission and the exhaust. The drive shaft, the rear differential. Now you may notice this little section back here. Now some of you are possibly wondering what is that? That is where the battery is located. That's a battery box. What they do is once they take the left tire off. A crew member go, removes out this little box right here. And quick disconnect a couple of connectors to the battery and put a new one in and put it right back in. Now I thought I never knew I never knew that. When I was watching the NASCARs, when they did Austin Dillon's a battery change, that was so amazing. I've never known that. So we're gonna pop open the hood. Now these hood this hood is actually held up by tethers. Unfortunately, it will not hold on its own which is kind of a bummer but that's 2002 for you so i'm basically gonna hold on my own like this here you got the uh, the high volume radiator that's up front that's usually for your uh, water now you now you notice this uh, black bar that goes across that is your metal engine crossbar that's actually brand new back in 2002 and then the black wires, you got the ignition wires. Then, of course, you got the air cleaner. Now, when I say this does have a different SB2 valve cover, it does. These are for the uh, Chevrolets and Pontiacs. I think the uh, the Ford ones are different. They actually do call that the uh, SVO, which is really amazing. And, of course, under the hood, you got the M&Ms, guys. You got red and yellow. Looks like that they want to diagnose a problem from underneath the hood. <laughs> and the hood closes down. Now the trunk, I can't say anything different about that because it is too controlled by tethers. But unfortunately, it would not hold on, hold on its own. Again, 2002 for you. You got the hoses for... The fuel filler, and then the... now the main one. One is your fill filler fuse. This is the silver and the black hose. That clear one you may notice. That's actually your overflow vent. That goes back goes back into this little notch right up here, where the catch can is, where, where the catch can is. Basically, when you have a pit stop, you have somebody back here as a catch can man trying to catch in a uh, leftover fuel that came out of that overflow vent. Now, correct me if I may be wrong on that. I don't I have not done any research prior before this because I just want to get this video out as I can. Also, that was what was new around that time, or you may notice the yellow lug nuts on the car, and also the tires as well. Are brand new because they've actually been sandblasted on where it meets the surface. Now, I'm actually really happy with this car, even though it is a 2002 car. It feels like it's still brand new, which is really awesome. So yeah, I actually did enjoy my birthday gift. Actually, I pretty much do. Never had a Ken Schrader car until now. Usually, the only Ken Schrader cars I have are usually in the one sixty fourth scale cars, but having a one twenty fourth scale car is really, really amazing.
I guess my main studio light is about to uh, go out real soon, so I'm going to wrap this up when I can. So if you actually uh, like this review, leave a comment, subscribe for more NASCAR diecast reviews. I try to put these out in the best way that I can. Also, I am a Circle B diecast affiliate. So if you go to Circle B Diecast, you pre-order whatever car or playoff gear you may want. And use coupon code Kruger down in checkout for free shipping on all orders, $20 or more. Now, I actually done used a coupon code many times and ain't even funny. If it works for me, it should work for you. You can also get your playoff gear from Circle B Diecast as well. Because it's all available on there. And also, championship gear is in. However, if your driver does not make it, is not champion, your items will be DNP'd and you will not be charged for it. So, my advice on that, hold off until after the championship race at Phoenix. Alright, so anyway, my name is Dustin, and I will see you guys in another video. Thank you very much.